For whatever position you play in a game, you have to be able to accommodate your training in order to fit the needs of that position. And center back is no different from that. So today I'm gonna go over some drills that you should be doing as a center back and how you should structure your training if you wanna get the most out of your training for a center back specifically. So I wanna start off the video by mentioning what I think is the most important thing that you should have as a center back. And it's something that you can't really train individually and that's tenacity, leadership, communication. And if you don't have those things, if you're shy on the field, if you're afraid to speak up, you're not gonna have authority on the game and your teammates in front of you aren't really gonna trust you at the back with or without the ball because you need to have that commanding presence over the field as a center back. And that's something you can't really train individually. And so if you are going to train that, which is gonna transition to what I think is the most important thing you should be training as a center back, you should be doing a lot of 1v1s. And this can be uh, defending a partner that's dribbling at you or trying to defend a cross that's coming into the box. And this is really just to get used to playing against a partner and getting accustomed to that tenacity and wanting to win the ball back because that's one of the most important things as a center back is that you have to be willing to put your body on the line in order to win the ball back for your team. That commanding presence again and doing that with 1v1 defending, it not only helps you with that tenacity, but it also helps you with things like your positioning, your defensive stance, where you want to force the dribbler into, like drib forcing him into his weak foot. And those are really key things that you should be getting accustomed to as a center back. The second thing you should be focusing on as a center back, and this is so, so crucial in today's day and age, is confidence on the ball. Now, in the old days, you could probably just get away with booting it up the field and letting a striker do the work, and then that was it. But in today's day and age, you have to be able to be confident on the ball. You have to be able to break lines, dribble out of the back to attract pressure. And some things that you should be doing in order to work on this is just some like dribbling drills, ball mastery, first touch, anything that gets you really confident on the ball. And this also plays a role in doing like pickup games or 1v1s as well. If you could become a technical center back, that is really good in the eyes of coaches and scouts, they will love to see a technical center back that can break lines, dribble into space to attract pressure. And that'll go a really long way in not only helping your team succeed, but also helping you stand out amongst other center backs that might not be as technical and probably just boot the ball off the field in hopes that the striker will do something. The third thing that you should be working on as a center back, and this kind of ties into my second point about being confident on the ball, and that's working on various types of distribution. Now, this can be a variety of things like a driven ball across the ground or a ping or a long ball in behind the defense, but it's really just getting accustomed to different types of passing because you don't want to just boot the ball up and hope something to happen. You have to be able to be intentional with your passing and that will help you in the long run for breaking the defense down. Now, let's say that you are playing left center back and you have the striker pressuring you from the side, probably not gonna be able to hit it with your right foot so if you want to be even better on the ball, you should be able to hit that with your left foot. It will make you a more effective player in general if you're able to hit that in behind with your left foot, as well as being able to do it with your right foot. That'll help you immensely in the long run. The fourth thing that you should be working on as a center back involves anything that's change of direction or explosiveness or getting up high in the air for a header. And these are really important because not only with change of direction are you having to track back with the long ball over your head and you're having to, if your body positioning is poor, then it's good to have a good change of direction in order to save yourself from having to get into a foot race with a fast striker. And so that change of direction is good to have. And then also that explosiveness, that being able to get up in the air, because if you're center back, you're probably a good height. And so headers ties into this fourth point. You want to be good in the air and have that explosiveness to be able to get over the striker to win the ball at the back. Or when you're going up for a corner, you have to be able to have that good aerial ability to win the ball over a pack, a load of defenders so that you can possibly get a goal. And the last thing that you should be working on as a center back, and this isn't absolutely mandatory, but it's something that's helped me in the past, and it's doing passing patterns that involve defensive movements. And this could be shuffling back or shuffling to the side, and then trying to win the header and then playing it out with your partner. And this is just something that involves various different movements that are for center back specifically, but it still sharpens up your technical ability, sharpens up your passing, it sharpens up your headers, it can even involve like a little one-two if you want to. 
And I'll give an example on screen if you guys are having trouble making passing patterns, but it's really simple. It's just including a lot of different things that you do as a defender and then morphing that into one drill just to get accustomed to doing different things, not just focusing on one individual thing, but compiling it all together and then making that one big passing pattern. And those are the five most important things that I think you should be working on as a center back specifically. And this doesn't disclude the fact that you should be working on everything actually, including you know, just simple dribbling or shooting. Like, it's not like you shouldn't be doing that, but these are just the things that I think are the most important for center backs. What are specific for your position and how you can improve the best as a center back with your drills. And that's gonna be it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. That would mean the absolute world to me. And if you like these type of videos, let me know down in the comments. And if you have any recommendations for future videos, let me know as well. And I'll catch you guys in a future video. Peace.